Hello, hello, hello. Today is Tuesday, April 23, 2024. Here follow the solutions, that's to say Keith Norman's solutions, of problem 199. It was a simple Newtonian mechanics problem. It dealt with gravitational accelerations and gravitational potential energy. Apart from Keith and Eugen's correct solutions, there were eight more people who had all four questions correct. And you see them all eight here. I will not pronounce their names because they are their YouTube identifications. The stumbling block was the last question. What is the potential energy at the center of the Earth for an object with mass one kilogram? Of course, it is not zero. Many of you have zero. If you move one kilogram mass from the Earth's surface to the center of the Earth, you have to do negative work. Because the Earth is pulling on you. Thus the potential energy at the center will be more negative than at the surface. That was the stumbling block. If you're ready, here follows Keith's video solutions. This is Keith's solution to Walter Lewin's problem 199 and it's a gravitational problem. A lot of this is discussed in his lecture 13 of 801. Uh, where we will learn, for example, Newton's law of uh, gravitation is this, uh, also equals uh, ma, f equals ma. Uh, we also know that uh, learn that gravity is a conservative field, so that uh, where we define, um, where we're dealing with infinity, uh, it doesn't matter how we get out there, um, whatever path we take, the uh, energy will always be the same difference, the potential energy will be the same difference. So to make life easy, we will consider a straight line um, as things move around um, infinity out there, zero is our origin. So here I've just represented the Earth. Uh, outside of the Earth, the force falls off, gravitational force falls off as one over r squared from here. Uh, and we can show um, that I won't do it here, it's a bit of tedious maths, um, that we can consider the whole of the mass of the Earth concentrated at the central point. We can also show that when we're inside the Earth, that the only mass that matters, for example, if I did that there, and I was down at this um, radius, deep inside the Earth, the only mass that would matter would be that bit contained within that little sphere. The rest of it does not contribute a force um, inside uh, the Earth. So in other words, if you had a shell, a uniform shell, there is no gravitational force within that uniform shell, and you consider the solid built up of lots of little shells, a bit like an onion is, is constructed. So that would mean that when we go inside, the force falls off linearly like that. It's proportional to R. The potential energy is uh, force um, integral of, of force uh, dot dr, which uh, will give us this here. Note, we have defined this to be our zero line for potential energy. So the potential comes down here, uh, varies as 1 over r, and when we get to the surface of the Earth, we will actually get the integral of this here, and so it's proportional to 1 over r squared. But note always it's negative and this is more negative than that, and that is more negative than out at infinity. And with that, we can do the problem. 
So now it's just a matter of we're given we're given uh, these values and we just plug the values in. So at part A, uh, the acceleration is force divided by mass uh, at the surface of the Earth. Uh, plug these figures. We get that. Um, strictly, you're going to say, well, it should be minus 9.81. But as he discusses in his lectures, we take the gravitational um, acceleration to be a positive, but we know it's acting downwards. OK. Um, part B, uh, A is zero. Acceleration at the centre of the Earth is zero. For the reasons that I've discussed, the force drops to zero uh, because all the mass is, is around you uh, and, and there's, nothing, there's nothing left to... To, to act on you in, inside when you're at the centre. OK, now, the, the slightly tricky bits, uh, C and D, the potential energy, where we're using uh, this formula, again, I plug the numbers in, and I get that value there, and it's minus, remember, minus, uh, and then the extra um, potential energy is this little bit here. If you think about it, as we move here, we're integrating, the, we're summing the area here, and, and that's the value here. So in other words, at this, we, if we totted up all that area, we would get this potential energy. Uh, and similarly, I can say, well, the extra potential energy is just that area there, um, r times that height. Um, you could do the integral, but it's just as easy to see it. it's half of, of the value we've got here. So um, the extra energy, as I've said, is half the uh, this, half U uh, R. So the total potential energy uh, at the centre of the Earth is, again, minus 93.8 megajoules. And that is my answer. Thank you.